Hey guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com here with one of my favorite people in the world. Oh, you're so sweet. Yes. So Candy Shaw, I met you two years ago, almost yes. like to the day, like maybe Pretty like much. a Pretty much. It was in February, actually, yeah. uh, two years ago, February. In an interview. Yeah, that's right. You had just launched Sunlight's Balayage. Yes. So what in the world? Like, so big things have happened in the last two years. Wow. Lots of stuff. So let's talk about your launch two years ago and and let's grow that conversation to what is what happened last night. Oh, my know? gosh. So let's talk about you launched your product. We met. You started. You'd had. Did you have any distributors at that point? You were. No, actually, it's so funny, Matt. I remember when I met you, I was so nervous. I was like, who is this dude from Free Salon Education? <laughs> he is so important, no. you know, with all your followers and everything. Yes. And. That was in a millennium event. Yeah. And I was just so honored that you interviewed me and we talked about the box and we were talking about the class in the box and what it does for hairdressers and why I made it. And, you know, the whole just sort of organic vibe about education, because both of us are passionate right. about education. And then fast forwarding this March, we celebrated our two year birthday right. at the ABS in Chicago. Had cake, you know, fat suits, oh, gave away there. bicycles, yeah, you know, just awesome. did all kinds of crazy yeah. things. But, you know, it's been so exciting. It's been such an incredible ride. And just this week, uh, we launched the Bali Box in Australia. That's awesome. And we're in the Netherlands and we're just, oh, I mean, it's just growing like crazy. And I'm just so humbled by the Balayage believers out there that just have supported me in this process it's yeah. just been amazing oh that's great so tell me um so you for the last two years we've been kind of working together i use your product in my salon thank you, know, you. that's very cool if you guys don't know the bali box is a balayage kit yes that um that you launched a couple of years ago right. so you've been out promoting it you've been at every show i i see the yellow yes. everywhere road warrior uh, but you have like, but you've done a lot of other things in the industry before that, right? Oh yeah, I've had an academy for 20 years in right. Atlanta. I have a 50 chair, 50 year young hair salon. I still work behind the chair, Matt. I mean, I'm still behind the chair doing 25 to 35 guests a day. I love it. Right. Um, yes, I am now becoming, I'm taking that new position as road warrior, but yeah. you, you're, you travel a lot yourself. Um, but what's been really exciting is along with the Bali Box, uh, we've just been able to change lives. You know, it's, it has been a real paradigm shift for hairdressers right. who now can be more efficient behind the chair. They can work smarter, not harder. Right. You know, the Bali Box is a class in the box, yes, but really what it is, is it's a new way of doing hair. You know, painting hair is the hottest thing going yeah as you know everybody is uh out there doing it now you yeah. know you wake up every morning to that you know that pinterest and facebook and instagrams oh, yeah. i pulled and out Instagrams. a foil at the salon the other day and i was like what do i do with this yeah, I don't, yeah. <laughs> oh, i'm gonna I break out in hives it's these. a foil yeah. <laughs> no but the reality right. is what i love is the profitability that hairdressers have now they can do more with less yeah so nobody wants to work more right you know basically what they want to do is work smarter not harder right and, um, you know, Balayage gives us that tool. And really, we can all be artists. Right. And I think that's why we went into this industry to begin with. Absolutely. Yeah. So you, so we now fast forward two years later. I meet up with you here. Last night was a big night for you. Yes. So you took your brand to a certain level. What, Correct. What would you say? So you have distribution all over the place. You're launching in Australia. Right. So well, it is. It's crazy what happened last night. You're so funny because... I would have never dreamed that this is where I would be sitting and this is what I would be doing is yeah. talking to you about, you know, really kind of what happened. But it took us 100 days to lock up 46 states of distribution in the U.S. It's unprecedented. Right. That just tells you about hairdressers, yeah. you know, something organic, touchable, feel, you know, yeah. something they can relate to. A person who can sort of lead that charge and educate them. You know, yeah. my brand is education based. You know, I created a product, product, you know, buy one hairdresser for all hairdressers. Right. And um, so I set up distribution, then that grew to the, you know, the EU market. Then that is now, you know, we're launching Russia and it's just crazy. It is. But so we entered the beauty pet shark tank. So you know? tell me why, why enter it if you've got that? If you already have distribution all over the world, scale. What does it do? 
scale. scale. Okay. You know, that's really, that's the hard thing. I mean, we're a mom and pop. You know, right. I work with my husband and my son. And, you know, it's us. That's yeah, it. I, I mean, we built the brand. We did, we do all the marketing. If you I mean, show up at a hair <laughs> show and you see Candy's booth, uh, it is all family. It it's is all like, family. Yeah. I'm on my hands Going and knees. crazy. They're all wearing know. yellow. Yes. Yeah, I'm on so, my hands and knees doing it. I mean, I don't have some big show teams, show crew that comes right. in, sets up, and then the diva walks in and teaches the class. Right. You know, we're really a hands-on family, and that's what we love about it, you know. Um, and so for us, why do we enter Beauty Pit Shark Tank was simply because the scalability, you know, keeping up with the demand has been right. redonkulous. Yeah. I mean, you know, I never thought in a million years that, you know, lightener could change the world. You know, it's always right. hair color. It's always shampoo. Yeah. It's always... Who would have thought you could launch a company with just lightener? Just lightener. We right. had nine SKUs. That was it. Yeah. You know, of course, now we've grown the brand uh, to more uh, to more things. But, but the reality is, who thought that? And so we entered for those reasons. And yeah. because... These people are knowledgeable. They know what's going on. And so, so tell me. So I didn't, I wasn't here because I was flying in. You get up in front of everyone. Right. So you had already submitted your videos and all of that. Well, there's two categories. Okay. So there's a startup. Okay. And then there is a um, mature, you know, more mature right. brand. Which was your category? No, mine was actually startup, startup because okay. it's under, you know, under um, a, certain a certain amount, amount of, money, of money. Okay. You know, and so we entered, and then we got down to six six or 12 finalists and then they did sort of a Skype interview with us and then they called us and said oh you know you've gotten to be one of the three finalists okay and um, so last night in a big ballroom here at the Mandalay Bay you know we came in and got up on stage in front of uh, Kevin Harrington and John Paul DeJorian a couple editors from Elle magazine as How well. How was it being in front of John Paul oh when my you're gosh. trying to launch <laughs> Well, first Lightner. of all, I have right. big, massive respect for exactly him. Exactly. You right, know, and right. I actually went when Paul Paul Mitchell was alive right. to the Avapui Farms in Hawaii okay. as a child. So I've known that brand yeah. since. And John Paul said it last night when they had seven hundred dollars in their pocket. Right. You know, and so I've sort of known it from the very birth and the very beginning. Right. I have unbelievable respect for him and the the whole Paul Mitchell culture the schools everything yeah. about them but looking at him last night was just sort of it was surreal right you know because here's somebody who you wish to be like you know you would just have just a tenth of his knowledge right and then he's asking you questions and interested in your brand right so it was great That's it cool. was really good and you won and then we won <laughs> in our category. Right. And so uh, the Kirshner Group uh, okay. presented us a check for $5,000. Whoop, whoop. Right. We tried to put it in the slot machine last <laughs> night, but it did not work. <laughs> we actually walked it to the craps table and said, can you guys let us put this down on red or whatever? That's no, hilarious. you can't. But, but the reality is these people um, are knowledgeable. And it was just an honor right. to be. And with the people in the categories that we were with were amazing, too. Yeah. The other, the other brands. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So, so what's going to happen? What well, we took the money and ran. Right. <laughs> right. And then now, basically, it starts up conversations okay. with people who uh, might be investing and um, looking for a way to invest. Yeah, to help um, the company grow. Exactly. Exactly. It's not quite straight up like Shark Tank where you take right. a deal right in the moment. Right. I think what it does is just sort of open doors for you to have yeah. great conversations about, you know, where you're at and what you're doing. And talking about that, that's that's what the industry is. Yeah. Like you for a long time have, have built those relationships with different people. Absolutely. This is the next step in your relationship building, definitely right. winning this contest. Right. But it's really if anybody wants to get anywhere in this industry or in your town to become a successful hairdresser, it's all about individual relationships right it is and you know what i'm so glad you touched on that matt because i think the thing that i would love to tell to the viewers is dream it go for it you yeah. know you don't want to burn bridges make great relationships i have so many amazing relationships with people in our industry and you know i woke up one morning as a hairdresser i go to bed as a hairdresser and now i'm a manufacturer i go to bed a mom 
you yeah. know yeah. i go to bed a hairdresser i mean i'm i'm no different than you anybody you right. know if if you really think if you're passionate about it and you really think i know people overuse that word it's right. like oh if you have passion but the reality is if you've got something that can help people they'll listen and i think anything that is backed by a good education will always be a winner yep so yeah. true so and true. i can't wait to see what happens in the next two years I we mean, will my do gosh. an interview again. Yes. And, uh, well, please don't wait two years. Well, no, That's a long wait. time. We didn't do that before. No, We've actually, no, no. This is our third time. I know. So we're know, like getting really good at this. Yeah. But um, but I always love talking to you. Thank you. Thank you to American Salon for surprising me with the interview with you today. I know. This it's is awesome. such a great partnership because I, I started working with American Salon this year to because they have so many connections with people. Yes. So I'm talking to everyone. I know, like I know. Literally everyone You, you sort of pinch hair. yourself. You know what's really funny? I'm so glad you said that too because I was looking at my phone last night and I was thinking, trying to look up somebody's number and I was thinking, oh my gosh, I have his number in my phone. <laughs> I have her number in my phone. I'm kind yeah. of like moving on up That's here. What it's all I about. mean, these are, these are some big hitters. These are some yeah. really important people that are on my speed dial that yeah. I did not have two years ago, by the way. So true. And, and of course, you are always on my speed dial, right? That's in right. my favorites. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, we have to. <laughs> yeah. But we, um, but I, I, and a lot of people ask, like, why do you, why would you do, like, because the interviews, they're, you know, you could put out a haircutting video, you get, you know, a million views. Sure. Put out an interview, you get 3,000. Those right. 3,000 people, are the solid. ears. Yeah. They're solid. They're solid. They're the hairdressers that are watching and soaking up every word and hopefully uh, understanding that every person that I'm sitting down with is my relationship. Right. You know, it's it's right. building that um, solid foundation so that someday when you have something, you right. know, you never know. You what never you need know. And you just keep working hard. And I love that. I've gotten to watch your company grow. Thank you. And it's so awesome. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. And, you know, I, uh, relationships with magazines and press are always great. And yeah. I do agree with you with what you're saying. I often say, even my Instagram, you know, I would rather be, I would rather have solid people who are watching yeah. me that care than buying friends just to have a number. Yeah. You know, and, and I guess my advice to anybody would be, you know, continue to keep keep yourself spread into every place that you can be yep. and never say no to an interview, never say no to an opportunity. Yeah. Uh, work for free because it's okay. Yeah. It does have a great residual and pay a payout in the end. Yeah. It's not really, people think it's free, but it's not, no. you're not working for free. No, if you're, you're somewhere not. that can bring you value later in life, like, yeah. or you're enjoying the time that you're spending, yeah. then who cares how much you get paid for it? It's but. true. It's um, true. Do you, one other thing, because you launched Tammy's Tips for Tuesday, yeah. or Tips on Tuesday, D or Tammy, who the hell is Tammy? Tammy's Tips on Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday Tricks with Candy. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I got all the teas going. So wait, Candy's Tips on Tuesday. As long as, long as you don't I say Candy's, you know, know what, it's on Tuesday. <laughs> wait, so you launched these tips Yes. I watch them. I'm like infatuated Thank with. Thank you. And so does Christina because she's like, oh my gosh, Candy's got a new tip out, and I'm like, okay, let's watch it. So, tell me, why did you why did you start doing the tips, and what has it done? Because well, I you guarantee know, it's done. So much. Oh, it's done so much. Everybody had, you know how they would say throwback Thursdays and, yeah. you know, all these different things were happening through Facebook and social media and Instagram. And I thought, wait a minute. Hairdressers are bored on Tuesdays, yeah. right? Because yeah. our core business is always the middle to the end of the week. Yeah. And so I thought this is a great opportunity to, for me to get organic in the salon and do things just live and in your face. Yeah. And this was before Periscope. This was before Facebook Live. This is before all that. Right. So I really kind of stole it from Matt back because he was already doing it for free salon <laughs> education. So I thought no. about, you know what, maybe what I'll do is do these tips and they can just always look forward to Tuesdays. Yeah. I tell people, look, you don't even have to sometimes watch me. You can just put it on your car and hit the button and drive to work exactly. and just listen yeah. to what I have to say because I'm teaching everything from French haircutting, obviously balayage, but also business tips, yeah. S how to run your salon, how to how to pay people, how to do marketing. I mean, there's a lot of things that I'm trying to share with you. And them. what I love is you do it pretty much out of your salon, yeah. unless you're on the road yeah. or something. And um, the other thing, what was I going to say that I loved about it? Because you didn't, you don't have a ton of fancy equipment no. that you're doing. You're just no. filming it. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's short and sweet. What are you filming it with? My iPhone. Your iPhone. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of people are sitting there like, what can I do? You made a schedule for your content, which yeah. holds you accountable. Right. Maybe you miss a Tuesday. Yeah. But you know what? Then you're right back on track on the next Tuesday. Like I, I started this year. I was like, you know what? I want to do a video every day. That's my goal. Right. Did I do a video every day? No. No. Nah. But have I created 70 videos this year? Yes. Yeah. That's pretty darn because good. Because I wanted to try to create. So y- you set a standard and you try to reach for it. Right. And I think that that's cool that you did that, especially because of the position that you're in now and how busy you are. Mm-hmm. You're still behind the chair. You're running your company and you're still taking time for the content, which is the most important thing. Anyway. I agree. I agree. And I would love to watch quality education over just crap. Yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of, as you know, even clients everything. in the mirror that are <laughs> you're like, OK. But the reality yeah. is, if I can help hairdressers, I think, you know, you uh, I said last night to JP, one of his sayings is success, uh, six, his sayings is success not shared is failure yeah. and you know for me i want to share my success i want to share things that work for me right because if it can help somebody i'm all about helping them absolutely well candy thank you so much thank you it's always a pleasure As i will talk to you again soon yes not and two years though. if you get a chance stop by candy's booth at any hair show find the yellow and check out the product it's really awesome Great. Thanks. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys. Check us out. FreeSaloneducation.com. Check out American Salon Magazine uh, and all of their stuff on the internet as well. And follow Candy Shaw. Candy Shaw and the Bali Lama. The, the Bali Lama. The Bali Lama. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.